I'm going to show you how to put the resistor into the live feed for the pop-up light on the 1200 or 1210. So first things first, these legs are a bit long so I'm going to cut them down to suit. So I'll cut them down to about that, if you can see that, might not focus, about that which is probably about 10 mil, 10 15 mil. Do the same on the other side. So now you've got this. And I'm going to solder that into there. So I'll start by desoldering the original, which you'll see I've taken the heat shrink off. Myself some heat shrink uh, here. Get some heat shrink. Cut myself a piece of heat shrink and feed it onto the orange wire. Make sure you feed this on first before you solder it on. Then what I'll do is I'll take me. It's a bit long, is that? So what I'll do is I'll trim that down. And I'll take these two and I'll twist them together so I can apply some solder and it won't fall apart. So now I've got it twisted together, I'm going to apply some solder. That's that done. Now I need to connect it to the other end, which is this black wire here. It's the same procedure. Twist them together. Some of them can be a bit fiddly, just to be a bit patient. The idea is not to have any sharp bits pointing out because that will point through the heat shrink. So same again, get a solder on it. Now keep it together. And that's that. That's now an inline resistor. Next stage. Pull your heat shrink down so it covers it. And with a heat gun or the back of your soldering iron, whichever you choose to use, warm your heat shrink up and it'll shrink to where your resistor is. Now I'll keep it protected so it doesn't short out. So if these short out, these can cause a whole lot of problems. So that's that. The next stage is to cut, take this resistor out. You can desolder it or you can just simply snip the legs and take it off like so not needed if you wanted you could use this resistor in there it's a bit bulky but it will work with a 3mm LED and that's how you put the resistor in the inline in the live for the pop-up light